right, um, working on this uh, sketch here. Let me remove this. I have the outer box case, the rubber thing on my phone. You see, I just took it off. And I noticed that when I uh, record, the audio thing is covered by this piece here. So let's just take that off that way, maybe you can hear me better. I'm doing this Spanish painting here. I just, I've done it in the past. I mean, I've done this painting a couple of times already. I got it perfect. Honestly, I got it perfect. And, um, I'm gonna attempt, I, I think I've done this painting maybe four times already. And, and what I try to get out of when I uh, do copies, I mean, you can go to schools and you can learn a lot, a lot of different things in schools. But um, when you go to school, when you go, to, when you go to art school, I took, I took classes at the, at the league, and uh, I was there. And once you learn the, the basics. That's it. I mean, the only reason you would want to continue to attend art school would be for the models. You know, you could do uh, the models that go there and you can paint them and stuff like that. And the uh, whole thing of sharing ideas and uh, with other artists, that's, but that's basically it. But when it comes to working on paintings that people from the past, masters, I'm looking to see if there's anything. Is there something? Because when you're working on a piece that someone has done before, like a Rembrandt, a Da Vinci, you're basically you're back engineering the painting. You're basically going through the problems he had when he was working on it and figuring it out why he did this, why he did that, and and so you get a lot, you learn a lot. All the greats done it. Copy, Van Gogh, Da Vinci, they all copy. So, uh, just trying to figure out. The flesh tones, I just love the way John seen the sergeant. The edges. the way he came out of past the line like he will come out the line and then he will cut back into it and, um, the Flemish the technique um, the way uh, the Renaissance all the great masters they used to tone their canvas down It's another technique that they would do. I um, I uh, have uh, I have tried uh, Venetian red. That's the red that's on there. I have thought that there's other ways of toning canvases instead of toning it down or at one one tone. You can, like, let's say you want to use the reds of this, of the, for the face. Then I can tone it down with something cooler here. You know? So, just coming up with different ideas of doing things. And, uh... 
And, um, so, um, this one, I guess. Got a stuffy nose. It's um, allergy season. It's, it's allergies are killing me. And the smoking is not helping any. But I know this. The original it's a little bit healthy. It's got that. It's so the original, you don't see it too much. But the slant, you do see it. The slant. That is a slant. This is the whole grid. This is my grid line. This is my grid line. My grid line. Oops. I have the ruler. You know what I need? That's what I need to know. But anyway, uh, that's gonna come real well then. Let me get this thing. And I know that. That's and it's right about there. That point there. So I need so anything else. Okay. See my little palette over there? Just like put it in a couple of fresh tones, you know, a couple of colors you want to put out. This is another glass palette. When I'm done with it, I just pick it up and put it up in the freezer. Look at this. Okay, that's an old, uh, uh, you go to the dollar stores, they have these butcher blocks. Uh, one area is rough, but what I do, I use the other side, the smoother side. And, um, and if some of them sometimes they have a, like a vinyl thing with some type of picture. You could just peel that right off. So I'll use this like a mixing area. And then this here. I'll put that there. And I'll keep my pants. I'm just going to do my uh, pickup, pickup, and that's it. Wipe again. And, uh, let's see what I can do with this. I hate to get rid of paint. That's a little coffee type of. Slant, so the eyebrow is coming very low there, and then it's coming up higher, right there, that's my slant, right there, coming down like that, that's my slant, that's my slant, my cheekbone, it's right here, that's it. I have a little bit of shadow along here. I have shadow here. Along this edge, we have a little bit of shadow. Along the mouth. 
feel a little I feel a little I just say uh, Sometimes when you dry paint, sometimes you get a like little dirt that gets in the paint. Then. Okay. This little thing that I took off here, I'm going to have to sand that down. I'm going to have to sand that down. gonna have to do because that's all I have. Okay, and then I'll add a little bit of, uh, I can't add anything of acrylic on top of that because that is oil. So we're gonna have to just, yes, uh, oil paint, but, okay. Anyway, uh, let's get back to doing this here. And um so we have a little area here. This is underneath the line. Okay, this passes the line. That passes the line a little bit further. How long I see is. Okay, and then this one, the nose goes real a little bit down it. Now that on the top line, I'm going to erase it with a brush. I have a shitty ass brush here. And this one right here. I use these old synthetic brushes to they're yeah, good just to get up there and shape. I'm gonna blow it all off anyway. Lay some fixative on top of the charcoal. Let's let's come here with a with that dark note. I just want to show you the, the beginning stages of uh, when you're working on charcoal and you tone your canvas. I tone it down with Venetian red, which is something that they used to do for many, for many years. All the great masters, the Venetians. Uh, that's why it's called Venetian Red, which is basically a brick red, like a clay color. I make my own out of brick. I think I have some around here somewhere. Am I talking loud enough? I'm probably talking too loud. Uh, I make my own Venetian Red. It's, I'll repeat myself, it's what the Venetians used to use to tone the canvas down. But um, any brick that you see, especially when the bricks are old, you crush it down. It's pigments. That's what Venetian red is. 
and um, it's a good way of making pigments and learning about how to make your own pigments. And uh, shout out, you don't have to go out and buy any expensive pigments just to get the feel of it. Another good way uh, that they used to use back then, even Rembrandt, putty, which is made out of chalk. And they used to use that as a form of medium. And uh, it's evident that uh, Rembrandt used it. In some of his paintings, you can see it, that they did use chalk. So, uh, Don't rush. Take your time. Like right now, I really want to rush. I really want to, like, because I just got these new brushes and I, I'm dying to, let me clean my hands. I was going to not stay with them and sell them on eBay and make, like, a profit, but... You know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep them, because everybody's like, well, you got so many brushes, you're always buying brushes. I mean, it's like, they, my friends are like, oh, fully always buying brushes. My God. And it's like, I'm sorry. It's like, some people collect baseball cards, some people collect uh, stamps, some people collect uh, people. I collect brushes. And, um, So, um, and it's like, I feel that all the brushes I have, they all have their own personality, they all do. I know them, each and every one of them, individually, I know all my brushes, all of them. I, I know them, like, they're my friends, they talk to me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, but, you know, they all have their own mark, like... You know, after a while, they wear out and they make uh, their own type of mark. And sometimes you'll continue to use a brush that you just enjoy using. And you know, it's the same thing. That's how I feel about when I... So, uh, okay, so what else? We got a little mark over here. Very lightly. Then we have a strong cheek over here. This one is very strong. Which is that one right there. Then along the ear, we have one darker here. My son's birthday is today. I just got him, I got him his uh, computer that he wanted. I'm happy I was able to get that for him. He's like loving it so much. And um, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, but I did it. He's like telling me, Dad, that thing, the secret, it works. It works. Every time we like put our minds to getting something, and I think that's the secret, dude. <laughs> it's like even the shipping, the day that it was going to come, it was supposed to come two days later and he was like oh it's coming Saturday and I was like Anthony it's it's not gonna come Saturday it's uh, <clears throat> uh, it's the date that they have it for it to come out it's on the 23rd he was like that is coming out and you know what he was so sure that it was gonna come but you know what it did come your dad, you gotta be positive. I was like, okay. I was like, okay. You're right. And it did come. But, um, what am I doing? Okay. It's, uh, not even. I know I'm gonna, not even his mother, just wish him happy birthday. 
Go on Facebook and say happy birthday, my son. Well, I do the same thing. But I've done it because of other reasons. I mean, they don't want me to call, so I don't call. They don't. And plus, uh, I don't know her Facebook, so I can't. There's no way of me getting in contact with her, so. And I'm not the one that, uh, because I, I wasn't the wrong one. I mean, he knows that. I'm not the one that ruined the marriage. I'm not the one that betrayed her. She betrayed me, so. She betrayed the family. But, um,. I'm getting off, uh, but anyway, back to the painting, and, um, continue to work on this, and like I told you, don't rush it, just take your time, figure where things go, make your lines, and, and that's it. Oh, I need some to fix it up. Where's the fix it up? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <coughs> okay, I blew it off. I'm gonna have some fix it up around here somewhere. If I can find it. Another good trick for fix it up is... Um, hairspray. It's the same shit. It's just cheaper. When it comes to like my art supplies, I don't, I don't play, I don't, you know, so, that's what I'm, um, okay, that's how you get rid of the brushes, you gotta keep, make a profit, make a, a lot of profit, but, but to get the money, what, to spend it on something else? I mean, what's the only thing that gives me pleasure, enjoyment? Nothing else but art, that's the only thing that gives me pleasure. This only sucks. So, I'm gonna sell the brushes for what? Look at them, these are done before. The time runs out. You see? So, these are done now. Just. Okay. So, let that dry. That way, what I just finished putting on there, I can continue to work on it, and it'll stay there. And, uh, and, um, but, uh, and, uh, I'll just continue to, like, work on this one. The lines that I won't need no more. I'll get rid of them. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. Uh, my time is running out.